Hello everybody, it is me. I am back here with a tutorial video. Now, you might be thinking, tutorial video, I thought today there was supposed to be an SFM time lapse going out if you're subscribed to my channel. If you're new, uh, if you're just a guy that looked up how to paint a bills hat on YouTube and found this, um, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But I'm doing a tutorial video today on how to paint a bills hat, as you may know from the title. And uh, most people use the hat dot hatproxy.bmx uh, method of painting stuff because that's the tutorial you'll find on YouTube. That's what I used for a while until I found another thing on the Steam Workshop, which I'll be talking about later in this video. Um, anyway, where was I? So, I remember back when I started SFM, I wanted to make myself a nice profile picture of my scout because scout's my favourite class. And I had a lion green bills hat, and the only problem was with the whole thing was I did not know how to paint the build, build hat. I tried the hat proxy.dmx and it did not work because there's a weird glitch with it. Even if you tried the advanced uh, part where you like change over the uh, name of it, you go into the uh, code of it, it's not gonna work. Like there's no way it's gonna work. It ends up being, it's all black and like you can't change it unless you uh, download the special thing which I'll show you. There'll, link, there'll be links in the, uh, in the description below and um, what else? Oh yeah, I'll be doing more tutorial videos in the future, but I'll be doing the tutorial videos I can't find on YouTube. Because if you look, try to look up a Bill's Hat one, Bill's Hat tutorial, you won't find it. Anyway, I didn't find it. I found one, but it was really complicated, where you went to, like into the whole files, and you had to change the whole texture of the Bill's Hat, and that was just too much trouble. So I'm just going to show you a simpler way. So, um, yeah. And then leave in the comments below if you want me to do more. Now I'm going to show you the page, uh, the Steam page, it's Steam Workshop SFM page. I'm going to go to it right now. So here we are, this is the Bill's Hat uh, texture, no spot slash marks. So all the credit goes to that guy right there, mix up notorious networks. Um, he's pretty, I don't know if he's a pretty cool guy, but uh, he's pretty cool for making this add-on because it really uh, helped me, as you can see I had a comment there. Be sure to give him all the credit, uh, don't give me the credit, give him a like and uh, subscribe to his, uh, this, uh, well, no, whatever this is, this uh, workshop item. Uh, make sure to leave a comment telling him I sent you. As you saw, that was a picture of a black bill, so that's what it looks like normally. And uh, it has no spots, as you can see in the picture there, because uh, it usually has these ugly little spots, kind of like boils on it. And there's something that you need to do before um, making, before using this. You have to give workshop items or, uh, priority over normal TF items, because if you uh, download this and look into uh, your model search, whatever it is, and you look up Bill's hat, you'll still find the old black shitty Bill's hat. So I'm going to show you how to change the priority over the, uh, over these things. So you go into your computer, you go into your uh, OS or com uh, C colon thing right there. I'm using Windows 8, I don't know how it is on Windows 7. You go into your programs fi program files dot x86. You should be able to find that on Windows 7. Then you go into your Steam. Then you go into your Steam Apps, Common, your Source Filmmaker, right there. Then you go into your game. <coughs> and then you go into your user mods. And then it's kind of hard to find, I didn't find it for a bit there. But you have to go into your game info text file. As you can see right there is a game info text file. Right there, I'm gonna click on it any second now. There we go and here you'll see a text file with loads of code so you're going to be looking for the prefix uh, with games, like the search paths you see I'm going to put a spotlight on it there you see you have to look for that as you can see I have the game workshop right there it's above um, every uh, above TF that's not supposed to be there, that's supposed to be below the TF because uh, it's just the way it is and then you have to bring it over on top of the TF so you copy and paste it, you cut it out and then you put it over the TF, leave everything the same some people say in the comments of the thing of the of his steam page said that there's TS Steam, their source from like yourself uh, working, don't blame me, blame him, and make sure there's no 2 after that TF, because someone wrote in the comments that it was there was a 2 after their TF, but it worked for me, so like, it should work for you. Okay, so moving on to the whole thingy, you cannot paint this with uh, 
new normal hot dot uh, hot dot proxy DMX whatever it's called because you just can't and that's the uh, Bill's hot now usually it would be black uh, Bill's hot if you didn't do what I just did there but you have to go into another Steam page I'll be links in the description below and this was made by Doc Ock Rock except it's spelt all weird and it's a docs color sprint v or dot t h e a t a exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark colon space five side edition exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark I'm about to burp but I'm not gonna burp Ooh, I just burped so this is a basically a simpler way of you coloring uh, your items in because there with the hot dot dmx uh, thing the proxy whatever you do there's a Thing on, there's a tutorial on YouTube how to use that if you want to use it, uh, go look it up. Uh, you have to put in the color code and it's real complicated. Here it's a lot easier. Here he has his own little um, tutorial on how to do it. Make sure to watch that, I don't want to steal his views. So uh, he goes a bit more in detail into his how to use it, uh, what to do. So it's doc uh, underscore oc rock. Be sure to give him the credit, be sure to uh, like this thing, subscribe, and leave a comment saying that I sent you uh, here. And um, because um, oh, I lost track. So as I said, this is an easier way of coloring your uh, items, and I'm gonna demonstrate right now. But there is a tip I need to give you, and there is something that Doc uh, said wrong in his tutorial video about the fast learner, which I'll get to in a second. But you have to unlock uh, unlock your uh, item before painting it like completely, otherwise it won't work. And you have to be careful with this. Um, by the way, I found this weird ass taunt in SFM, like in the sequences in the actual like console. I don't know where it is. It's not in TF2, but I really want it to be in TF2. Anyway, back on topic. So you go to the rig, you go into the setup, sci-fi, uh, sci there. Well, the painting thing. And I'm gonna uh, color it in uh, lime because that's my color of my bills hat. And now, if you move him. You see the Bill's hat stays there, because if you unlock the rig, that's what's going to happen. So you have to be more careful. So before making a poster, be sure to, before, uh, uh, when making a poster, and before uh, painting your uh, Bill's hat, be sure to, um, uh, lost my, uh, lost my words again, uh, be sure to uh, position your scout first with the hat on, and then when you're completely done, then paint the hat, otherwise it will be kind of cluster crappy. Um, I don't know how this would work for an animation. As you saw, like the animation still worked, even the hat uh, wasn't, it wasn't attached to him because the hat was uh, still programmed to move like that. So I don't know. We have to figure uh, out how to do animations. I don't know. I don't really do animations. Now onto the fast learner. In Doc's video, he said the fast learner is really gimmicky when you paint it. He said you have to go into the element viewer and you have to change a whole lot of numbers and. If you're not smart like me, those numbers will be really confusing to you. So, a way around this, what he forgot is that Fast Learner has two styles. It's got the summer style and the winter style. When you, the summer style is the default style. When you paint something with the summer style, it looks, it doesn't look like the normal paint. It, it turns out weird, even in normal TF2. So I'm going to show you right now. Um, there. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a voiceover and I'm doing this without a script, so I'll keep stuttering. So let's pick a color, and I'm gonna look for purple, cause that's the purple color that I have in my scout, uh, in real TF2. There it is, purple. Done, and as you can see, that is obviously not purple. That is an ugly grey pukish color, which does not look nice. The way to change this without going into your element viewer and changing the numbers and uh, playing around with it is that you go into your skin. As you can see, the zero is ticked, which is the summer style, but you have to change that and click on the one. And now you can see it's more darker purple, that's the way it is in TF2, and it doesn't look like that good because the lighting is pretty shit. But that is definitely more purple than the other uh, things. And uh, I hope this video was. Um educational to you. I hope uh, it turned out great for you. Uh, and you think down there you see the um, people who made these uh, uh, rigs for SFM. Uh, if you like this video please leave a like. If you're new to the channel and want to see more tutorials be sure to subscribe to my channel and see uh, TF2 gameplay. As I, um, what else do I want to say? Leave a comment saying which other tutorials you want me to do. If there's tutorials that are already on the internet, I won't reply to them. Oh, I will reply to them. And uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.